Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better show with your hosts, Lee Silber and Ellen Goodwin. This podcast is short, fun, and jam-packed with good ideas that you can start using right away. And here's your host, Lee and Ellen. Welcome to the Faster, Easier, Better show. I'm your host, Ellen Goodwin, and today I'm riding solo because Lee is out taking care of some work. So I want to talk today about how you can stay on track when the going gets tough. Now, a lot of times we have big projects that we're working on. They are going to take a long time to accomplish. And, you know, just some of them I can think of. People going back to school, that's a long-term project. Losing weight, getting in shape, writing books, all sorts of things are they're long-term projects. It's not something that, wow, I'm going to start this today and, boy, look, next month I'm done. No, they're long, long-term. And what happens is we always start out super enthusiastic about our project. And somewhere in the middle, the first third, two-thirds, we hit a point where everything just slows down. We're not as excited about it. We're not really feeling that we're moving forward. We really can't see that end point at all. And we kind of want to give up. So what can you do when you're, you're stuck in these things and you the going is just getting tough? I mean, let's be honest. It is tough. Tough to motivate yourself. Tough to remember why you're doing everything. Well, I think the best thing you can do, and I know it's not going to come as any surprise to anyone, is to look at what you're doing and start breaking it down into the smallest possible thing you can do. Sometimes with these big projects, we're only looking at the big major chunks that we want to accomplish, which are so easy to get discouraged on. But if we break those chunks down into smaller, smaller, smaller bits, we can accomplish them and start feeling better about what we're doing. Because every time we succeed, we get that little hit of dopamine. Our brain gets excited. It gets reinvested in what we're doing. So take that big project and break it down. I'm in the middle of writing a couple books. And, you know, sometimes the idea of editing every afternoon just makes me crazy. But If I break it down to, you just have to edit for 15 minutes, I can do that. That's a small thing. And, you know, once you get into it, you just keep going. But you have to break it down. So so for me, it's going to be one page of edits, 15 minutes of editing. I'm breaking it down into something super small. Okay, another thing you can do when you've got these big projects that you're getting discouraged on is just take a break. Take a break from it. Now, that can be as easy as a 15-minute break, or it might be a several-day break where you just have to say, I have to refill. I have given everything I can, and I just need to refill. Now, athletes, they don't lift weights the same way every day. They do their arms one day, and the next day they do their legs, which means that their arms get to repair themselves. They get to get back to where they were. And that's sometimes what we need with big projects, just a chance to refill our willpower, our self-control, our enthusiasm for what we're doing. There's nothing wrong about taking a break. It's getting back on track that is the problem. So you have to remember, you take a break, but you want to get back on track. So anytime I tell any of my clients that, yeah, let's just pause with things, always have a startup time in mind. Maybe you just write that down, put it on the refrigerator. This is when I come back to writing. This is when I come back to working out. This is when I get back on the diet. You can't just stop without having a starting point. Now, the third way that you can, you know, stay on track when things get tough is get some outside help. Really, get outside help. You don't have to go it alone. Every single thing that anyone is doing right now, I can almost guarantee it. 99% of the people have are doing something that someone's done before. Of course, we have an, 1% that are doing crazy things like Elon Musk. But someone has already done what you are trying to do. Look to them, whether you look to them in person, as a coach, as a friend, or you you read about them. You find out, how did they get through this? You're going to learn 
how they did it, but you're also going to learn that, gosh, you know what? They probably hit a low point as well. And you'll be able to understand, you know, what you can do to get through it. You can get accountability, accountability with like a friend, with a Facebook group, with a mastermind. You can hire a coach that knows exactly what you're working through and can help you over this speed bump, this problem that you're having. You could get a therapist. If there's something inside that needs to be worked through, they're the people to help you with. The point is, you don't have to go this alone. The going is getting tough. Get some help. There's no shame in it. it. It's probably the most efficient way you can do it. Because look, if it's going to take you a month to figure out what's going on, why the going is tough, why you're having problems, if it's going to take you a month, you're going to be that much further behind. But what if you got someone that knew? What if it was going to take a day, a weekend, maybe even a week for them to push you through where you are? That's so much more efficient than slogging it out on your own. One of the problems with slogging is that, you know what, you're going to just get more defeated. You're going to be more unhappy. You're more likely to just give up. You don't want to give up on your big projects. You just, you're in the the messy middle. One of my favorite terms, the messy middle. You're not in the exciting beginning part. And you're certainly not at the triumphant ending part. You're in the middle where it is not as fun as it used to be. So when that happens, you know, really break things down into the smallest bit that you can. Take a break. There is no shame in taking a break. The only shame would be not starting up again. And then get outside help if you need it. There's all sorts of people that are willing to help you get to where you want to be. People have done this before. They have the knowledge that can help you. So get the outside help. All right, that's our episode for today. We'll be back next week with the Faster, Easier, Better show.